You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. Everyone, welcome to Best Bets for Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. I'm your show host, Michelle Ferg. Okay, today we're going to talk about something I kind of love and hate, vacuums and dog hair. I used to not really, well, I'll tell you about my love story, love-hate story in a minute when we get back. You, you want to hear this. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We'll be right back, right after these messages. Stay tuned. The Boo Boo Loon Pet Recovery Collar is an innovative inflatable product that comfortably restricts pets from harming most surgical wounds, skin disorders, and obsessive licking or scratching. It's the humane alternative to the hard plastic cone and other devices. The Boo Boo Loon is easy to use and designed to be soft, fully adjustable, and pillow-like, allowing for unrestricted vision and complete freedom of movement. Sizes range from extra small to extra large. So join the Boo Boo Lution. Become a Boo Boo Buddy on Facebook or check out BooBooLoon.com. B-O-O-B-O-O-L-O-O-N.com. It's the holidays at PetSmart, so come one and all. There are hundreds of gifts for pets big and pets small. Toys only at PetSmart, so special and new. They'll love the gifts. You'll love the value. Hurry to PetSmart today for your very best friend and save 30 to 50% before the holiday ends. The holidays are just around the corner. Go to PetLifeRadio.com slash PetSmart and save up to 30% on awesome gifts for the pets and pet people in your life. Toys, collars, leashes, PetSmart gift cards, treats, and more. So shop early and save money. Go to PetLifeRadio.com slash PetSmart today. Love your pets but wish their medications were a lot less expensive? They are at 1-800-PET-MEDS. You'll not only save on flea and heartworm medications, but on prescriptions for arthritis, incontinence, thyroid, and more. And you get fast service, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Plus, our licensed pharmacists ensure accuracy, monitor drug interaction, and more. See why over 5 million people have trusted their pet's health to 1-800-PET-MEDS, America's largest pet pharmacy. Call now or order online. Go to 1-800-PetMeds.com forward slash best, B-E-S-T, to get 10% off any order and free shipping on orders of $39 or more at PetMeds.com. Coast to coast and around the world, it's All Behave with Arden Moore. Find out why cats and dogs do the things they do and get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get great tail-wagging pet tips and have a fur-flying fun time. All behave with America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Every week on demand, this is the place for a special paparazzi treat, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back. I am so excited today. I have Rob Green, who is a design engineer at Dyson. Welcome, Rob. Hi there. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to talk to you. <laughs> I'm kind of a, I guess, vacuum snob. And okay. I've always had long hair dogs. And with long hair dogs comes lots of hair. And over the years, no matter where I've lived, what kind of floors, I've always preferred vacuuming because it gets everything where sweeping just moves the stuff around, especially hair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the one thing with vacuuming is so many of them don't work or they fall apart or you have when you empty it with the bags, you have the pieces that come out and they don't go back in right or you have the bands and they're such a mess. And um, a few years ago, I discovered Dyson. And more recently discovered the Dyson animal. And oh my gosh, 
I'm a vacuum nut. I literally brought my vacuum over to places, friends that have dogs and cats and said, you have to try this. Tell our listeners, what is it about Dyson that makes it so different from other vacuums? Well, well, firstly, thank you for liking our product so much. It's always nice to hear. Um, I mean, in terms of what's so different, you know, we, we pride ourselves on being a, a very thorough engineering company. We're, we're very, very keen on solving the problems. Uh, we're obviously very famous for our vacuum cleaners. And, you know, when we first came into the market, the most obvious problem for us was the whole bags and loss of suction. Since then, we've, you know, done our very best to make sure that we're always constantly developing vacuum cleaners. We're always pushing new technology forwards, coming up with new ideas and trying to really solve those frustrations with current vacuum cleaner designs. Now, I think that's probably what um, sets us apart so much is our investment in new technology and the way we really go for uh, new developments and new ideas. And this can be everything from our cyclones and you know, the use of no loss of suction and the fact that you don't have to purchase bags through to our new cleaner head technologies, um, our accessory tools. You know, we, we invest so much in designing uh, and developing that uh, I think it's that constant innovation that really makes the Dyson machines uh, stand out in the market. That does make a big difference because so many of the vacuums that I've had in the past and, you know, when you have dogs and cats and with hair, you have to have a vacuum. And there's so many of them that seem to have the same old thing with the bags to replace and, and they break down so quickly. What I really like about Dyson is the great suction because it just seems to get everything up. Hair, dander, just sucks everything up. Yes, I suppose that's the big thing with vacuum cleaners. I mean, and a, and a lot of household goods is the designs people are so used to. Uh, they've always been the same for year after year after year. And, you know, the vacuum cleaner was a bag, a suction source, and a, you know, a cleaning head or a hose or, you know, the actual bit that did the agitation on the floor and picked it all up. And it's that, you know, people's almost acceptance and companies' acceptance of sticking with the, you know, the same thing and just, you know, changing the color or changing the shape or things like that that just sort of led to it being the same ineffective product um, time and time again. You know, the, the developments we've made with the cycling technology help us with the, the suction we have and help us with our cleaning ability and performance increases. And, you know, it's, it's really looking at you know, the old and the ineffective and, and innovating and moving on that um, allows us to, you know, to, to perform as well as we do. So let's talk about your new vacuum is the Dyson... Animal. Yeah, animal, yes. It's the DC-41 Animal. Yes. Now, that is amazing. It has the Dyson Ball technology. And tell our listeners about it. Yeah, so the, as you said, the DC-41 Animal is our, our latest vacuum cleaner. What we've done is looked at the DC-25, which is an incredibly successful machine. Much loved here in the States. Actually, the, the sales were incredible for it. And we sort of, like I said, tried to evolve the ball technology along. We've made improvements to the maneuverability by stripping away all the clutter from the outside of the machine and putting it all the key technologies housed within the ball now. What we've also done is we've made improvements to the cleaner head to try and improve the, well, give us the best cleaning over all floor surfaces. And we do this by having our self-adjusting base plate. We've also got, because it's an animal machine, it also comes with our specifically designed attachments for tackling tough pet hair on furniture and various different surfaces. So it's really the next stage of the evolution of the vacuum cleaner. And we've done, like I said, many different improvements to give us such a great new machine. What do you think when people are looking for a Dyson vacuum, what do you think, how should they decide which one to choose? I mean, this is always a tricky one. And I've got to be honest, it's one of those questions that get asked so many times in terms of recommendations. It really depends on people's environments. I mean, obviously, our animal machines, like the DC-41 animal, are specifically designed for you know, people with pet hairs. You know, they've got, that, they've got the accessory tools. They've got that real tough cleaning ability to them, which is great for tackling the pet hair. Something like the DC-24 is obviously our uh, compact upright machine, is obviously more targeted at a, a smaller property. You know, it's, it's something I've used for many years in my one-bedroom apartment because... You know, I'm, I'm limited for space. I live in the middle of a city and, you know, a, a larger DC-41 animal, as much as I'd love to have one, is just too much space in, in my cupboards and closets. Um, similar sort of thing with our canister range. So the DC-26 is obviously our compact, designed for uh, small apartments and easy storage, whereas something like our larger DC-23 is, you know, a much larger, more powerful 
more versatile machine, but you have the size and the weight. So we, what we like to do, and I think what we do very well, is offer a great range of Dysons. Um, in terms of what's best, it really does depend on the house, uh, the floor types, the surfaces, and you know, whether the people have pets or not. But I like to think we offer a machine for everybody. That's interesting to know. And then people can find out more about what Dyson, different Dyson products on your website? They can indeed, yeah. Dyson.com lists all our, our products on there and also gives the great breakdown of you know the accessory tools, what they come with and performances to help people um, try and find the right one for them. Okay, now I have a question for you too because this comes up. Some people say, I've heard that some people say, well, I don't have much carpet so I don't really use a vacuum. But I prefer vacuuming. I, I mean, I've lived places with just hardwood floors, and I still prefer a vacuum because I think you get more of the debris up. Plus, on furniture and on drapes and everything, because sweeping, I think, just moves things. It doesn't really get everything up. What's your take on what kind of floors you can use a Dyson on? Again, that's, that's another fantastic one, and I, I completely agree with you on that one. I, my home back in England is entirely wooden floored, and sweeping just doesn't really work for me. What we have at Dyson is we do a great range of our vacuum cleaners will work across uh, multiple floor types. So although most people obviously assume, like you said, vacuum cleaners are carpet designed, they will perform just as well on hard floors. Particularly to your point earlier when you mentioned uh, picking up pet hair, it's a lot easier to pick up pet hair off a hard surface with a vacuum cleaner than it is to sweep it all or move it all around and then try and sweep it into a dustpan. It's also, it's also a lot better in terms of keeping yourself away from you know, contacting and, and having to touch the, the mess that you're cleaning up. I suppose one of the greatest advantages, particularly on hard floors with vacuum cleaners, is the gaps and crevices, if you have them between your wooden floors, uh, sweeping will not clean the dust out of those gaps and crevices. You'll just sweep it over the gap and then it will fall down it. Whereas our vacuum cleaners uh, and vacuum cleaners on hard floors will you know, the suction is still there, so it will suck dust and debris out between the gaps in the floorboards. I had the great pleasure of living in a rather old property in England, so the gaps in my floorboards were uh, pretty big. So sweeping dust and debris around is really wasn't something you wanted to do because it just sort of filled up all the gaps in the floorboards, uh, whereas the vacuum cleaner sort of cleaned it all out. We also do a lot of our machines, you know, the, the general rule on, on the hard floors is to switch the brush bar off. Uh, this allows you know all the suction and the cleaner head to sort of apply to the hard floor. We also do a, a range of accessory tools specifically designed for hard floors, which will either attach to the handle on the canister machine or just onto the end of the uh, removable wand handle. So we we've done it. We do our best to make sure that we can accommodate all floor types out there. And certainly vacuuming the hard floors is yeah it's something I recommend over sweeping even if people traditionally wouldn't, you know, wouldn't think that or use vacuum cleaners there. Yeah, that's great to know. And it's also good to know that you have attachments for cleaning wood floors. Now, you mentioned that the animal comes with an attachment, and I've seen it, for pets. Yes. How does that work? What we found when we were, when we were designing this is pet hair can build up quite a bit on uh, furniture, furnishing stuff, uh, soft furniture, you know, your, your settees, sofas, chairs. And where those are covered in fabrics, the pet hair will stick to it, as I'm, you know, I'm sure you're aware as a, as a, <laughs> as a pet owner. Yeah. Now, obviously, the best thing to do, it's, it's no different to the pet hair sticking to effectively your carpet. You know, the best way to get it up is to get a brush bar on it. So it sort of agitates and grabs at the hair and pulls it off the carpet surface. Now, obviously, you know, the last thing you want to do is pick your whole vacuum cleaner up and go across your, your sofa cushions with that. So the idea is that it's a hand-held sized attachment that you attach to the hose of the machine got a revolving brush bar in it and you can just go about cleaning the soft furniture that hair may have built up on and using that brush bar to sort of really grab at the hair that's built up on the soft furniture and cleaning it away so it's um you know it's taken the technology we have in our brush housings you know the the main uh, main cleaner head that touches the floor just bring it down to a more compact handheld size you can use with the hose on the machine to, to help you clean the soft furniture, soft furnishings. I've used it and it's amazing. I had something that actually, I didn't know it was that, it could turn that white with all the hair. Because you, you don't realize, <laughs> you don't realize how much, my dog is black and white, mostly black, and you don't realize how much hair gets in there and it's just impossible to get out, especially out of some fabric. It's really difficult. 
So this makes a huge difference. Now, Dyson is also good for getting out, you know, allergens and so forth, because a lot of people have carpet allergies and hair allergies. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Well, yeah, you're quite right. We, you know, we're very proud of proud of that with our machines. Um, I suppose the first, the first key thing is one thing, like you said, with Dyson, we're very proud on our uh, cleaning ability and, and how deeply we clean. And one thing to remember is, although a carpet may look clean after a you know a, a couple of passes with a vacuum cleaner, there's the nasty little bits normally down at the base of the carpet that can really cause the problems. And these are the sort of the pollens, the mold spores, and little bits of dust and debris that have sunk down to the bottom of the carpet. So although you know a vacuum cleaner can pass over the carpet and can look clean because it's picked up all the surface debris, stuff really deep down in the carpet that you need to get out, particularly if you do suffer from allergies, you know, and, and you know pollen and can be particularly um, troublesome with them, you know, can really uh, aggravate them, I suppose is what I'm getting towards. So, you know, our cleaning technology, uh, particularly on the DC41 with our new adjustable base plate, is really set up for allowing the cleaner head to automatically adjust itself to the best cleaning for the carpet type. And by that we mean the sole plate will always sit on top of the carpet and then the brush bar is sort of free to dig down into the carpet to really agitate the, um, you know, the carpet and get those nasty pollen and dust and mold spores out of the base of the carpet. Now that's obviously very important from the allergies point of view. The other thing we have is we have the have our cyclone technology which is, you know, the, the core of our Dyson vacuum cleaners really. And uh, you know, we, we spend a long time developing these and they are designed to separate out all the dust and debris from the airflow so we don't become dependent on our filters. The great thing with that is obviously because we're not dependent on our filters, we don't see that you know, same build up on them. All the dust and debris is separated out in the cyclone, which means we'd get our no loss of suction and uh, performance benefits from those. So it's really a combination of things that allow us to be particularly good for the allergy and, you know, the deep cleaning coming from both our cyclones and our cleaner head technologies. Thank you so much for answering all these questions and explaining everything to myself and my listeners about Dyson products and the uses and so forth. Now, from my personal point of view, I think Dyson is a fantastic value because mine, and I use it a lot, has lasted a long time. It works better. The suction is better than any vacuum I've ever had before. There's even one, and I'm, I can't recall the name. It's, it's a fish name or something, but this one blows it away. It's just great. My Dyson's lasted, I think, a pretty long time for as much as I use it. What are your comments on that? Well, we spend a very long time in our development making sure that our products are robust and strong and hard wearing. You know, we use high quality plastics, high grade plastics. The other thing to always remember with Dyson's is we're backed by a five year parts and labor warranty. So, you know, if something does go wrong with the machine, we're there to support it. You know, we have our call centers based in America, we have our service network and our service centers, and we, you know, we will continue to support the machine from the day it's brought through. You know, through that five-year warranty period. And then we also continue to support the machines beyond that with spare part availability. I was speaking to somebody today who was still running a DC-07. And that was one of the first machines we launched in America. And they are still happy with it. It's still working fantastically. And it's, you know, it's still going strong. And they've got no need for a, another machine. So, um, you know, we do support our machines. We do love our machines. There's, there's a lot of work that goes into developing them, uh, making sure they're robust and strong. You know, we test retest and retest until we're happy that the machines are as strong and tough as they can be. But, you know, the thing to remember is if something does go wrong, we're, we're there to support them. I love them. Listeners, you can find out more about Dyson Vacuums at Dyson.com. Rob, thank you so much for coming on Best Bets for Pets and telling our listeners all about Dyson products and just some great information. It's a wonderful vacuum and no, have pets, need vacuum. It just goes hand in hand. It's a no-brainer. So thank you so much for coming on my show. Thank you for having me. Listeners, if you have never experienced a Dyson, check them out. They are the most amazing vacuum. They work incredibly, and you will not believe how much dust and dander this vacuum picks up, along with hair, which we love our pets, but the hair, you know... <laughs> get a Dyson, they're worth it. They're fantastic. Plus, you got a vacuum anyways, you know, so why go through all the effort if you're not going to use something to really pick everything up? 
And you can find out more at Dyson.com. I'd like to also thank my producer, Mark Winter, for making me and my guests sound great. Thanks to my crew that are lovable but messy and leave lots of hair for me to find. Mr. Z, Nikki, and Dennis. And thanks to my listeners for tuning in. I appreciate it so much. Questions or comments, please send them to Michelle at PetLifeRadio.com. Stay tuned for another great episode of Best Pets for Pets. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.